guys. Today we have come to visit the Angkor Thom Temple Complex. This is the second largest complex of temples within uh, the Angkor area. So your Angkor Wat, which is the largest, and then Angkor Thom is the second largest. So at the moment we are in uh, a Bapon temple, which by the looks of it is the largest temple in the complex. So have a wander around, see what we can find, see what we can see, and then uh, explore some more uh, smaller hidden temples. We've just left the Bapuan Temple and we've come and sort of walked through the bit of the forest bit and come across this one. Looking at the map, this one is one of the royal temples. It's got a name I can't pronounce, but in brackets it says Royal Temple, so. We just walked around here. That's where the monkeys were playing. And I think we came out this back way and went up through here. Yeah, and we walked it's up around here, area. past whatever this is called, Femir Naka. It sounds like a Greek name. And then up through here, and then that gate there is where we are now. So we're going there. And then we're going to come out, and then we're going to meet him up our jolly road. Alright, let's head this way then. So we've come out of the uh, Royal Palace now and we're on to the Elephant Terrace. Now, you can't really see how long it is on here, but from where I'm stood to the steps here, it goes over and on again even further. I'm not sure why it's called the Elephant Terrace, but it's amazing. Well, we're now off the Preston Chalk, which is a small temple situated in one of the far corners of the Angkor Thom complex. The only way you can get into it is by parking one of the, like, the west gate or the south gate and then walk into the temple in a minute walk to our touch of We're going to drop us off at the south gate and we're going to go and have a little wander and see if we can find it. It's supposed to be one of the best preserved small corner temples uh, that's in the Angkor Wat area. So that's it, let's go see. So, this is what I meant when we were at Beng Malay. There was hardly anyone there, but you come to the Angkor complex and look how busy that is. Right, so we've just been dropped off at the south gate. That's the south gate there. So now, oh, there's our tuk-tuk driver. So I said, yeah, there's the south gate. So now we need to head this way. have made it to the most preserved mini temple in the corners of Angkor Thom. And if this is preserved, I'd hate to see what the other ones are like. You did well on this one, Chess. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. If this is the most preserved, I'd hate to see, I'd hate to see what the other ones look like. So right, we're, we're going to head back now to the driver. Um, we're either going to head back to the apartment because I think we're both getting hungry and we are both going out for drinks tonight. So, or we're going to go to the Tomb Raider temple again. I'm not sure. What... Got, I'm going to ask him if it's still open. So he'd like to say that. Okay. Well, if it's still open, we'll go to the Tomb Raider temple. If not, that's the end of the tour around Angkor Tom. I can hear the music. <laughs> Everyone can, I don't think you, you're <laughs> dancing in time. Oh, look, there's a monkey right up there. Oh, he's disappeared. Okay, you can go up and answer now. Well, found the driver, back on the sunset. And now we're going to head back to the apartment. We're going to grab some food, grab some mixer, have a few drinks at the hotel, and then head out to the street tonight. Well, we've had food 
and now we're gonna uh, head back to the apartment and start getting ready to go out. So it's about 11 o'clock. We've had a few drinks in the apartment and now we're uh, heading off to Pub Street for the evening. No idea where we're gonna go, but we'll see where the night takes us, so.